بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so next thing we'll try to understand um, something about ethernet frame format so i'll quickly give a brief overview on the format of your ethernet header basically when a packet travels within the lan so let's take an example there is a pc here on my lan with an ip address of 192.168.1.5 that is my source ip and this particular device is trying to communicate with the destination ip let's say this is my destination ip and the destination address is 192.168.1.200 within the lan and we all know that uh, as long as in the same subnet basically there is an arp protocol which is going to resolve the mac addresses so the equivalent mac addresses will be i'll just write as mac1 mac2 but you can see the actual mac addresses you can see inside this uh, header in general so when the when the ethernet frame is actually forwarded this will be the normal information what we have already seen in the basic switching so i'll just try to give some more detailed information here like when the packet is moving it is routed based on the mac addresses right sorry not routed you can say switched because it is uh, typically switched from one device to another device within your lan okay so apart from this information so it includes the source and destination mac addresses inside the frame we call it as a frame generally and this frame contains multiple uh, informations inside the header so typically we call this as a header or the frame format basically and it includes the source and destination mac addresses generally 6 bytes apart from that you also see some other information like uh the source and destination mac address as i said it's a 6 byte field which is used to identify the device so mac address is for identification because all your layer 2 devices uh it actually sees the mac addresses and based on the mac address it will uh, figure out where the destination is and as i said already switch is a intelligent device which uh, will uh, which will which knows exactly which has an inf which ha which can store the mac addresses in the mac table and it can forward according to that now apart from that you also see some other fields here now there is something called type field now this type field indicates that uh, what or which protocol it is going to encapsulate what is the protocol we are using here so typically this type field will be generally 0000 if it is used ethernet let me write down this if it is 0000 generally it refers to that we are encapsulating or we are sending an ethernet frame or if it is like 0001 generally it is i think for token ring or if you're using 0010 then basically it is for ftd networks or atm so basically what type of protocol we are using here so mostly in our lan we don't use other options we'll be using only ethernet protocol here so that type field represents and sometimes instead of type you'll see the length as well so basically it also contains the length information Uh, which indicates the length of the complete frame so typically the frame uh, size or the packet size or the ethernet frame size uh, will be minimum 64 to 1500 uh, bytes generally that is a max maximum size of the frame can be uh, minimum from 64 to 1522 or 1500 bytes if you add some additional information it can be up to 1522 bytes now the next field there is something called data now this data is actually carries your actual information so your actual data in the form of uh, bits it will be inserted here in other words we call it as a payload payload or your actual data that's a technical term we use and it also contains the ip header which means if you remember i said actually when the packet starts it is routed based on the ip so you have this ip packet also inside encapsulated inside and this ip is inserted okay so if you're using ip ip over ethernet generally and generally the maximum uh, size of the data will will not be more than 1500 bytes so if you add this additional informations it will go up to 1522 bytes generally so data or the payload is actual uh, actual payload or actual data which is transported over the transmission media in general and the other thing we have something called fcs frame check sequence or it is also called as crc check 
cyclic redundancy check generally. So this is four bytes. Now it contains a 32 bit hash value. And this hash, hash value is nothing but it's a kind of code. It will carry code for the data. And this hash value is generated based on your actual data, which is encapsulated. So it's generated based on this uh, data and it is encoded here. Now this is to ensure that the data packets which has been received are the same or not corrupted, not corrupted or not dropped, or it is exactly the same which is sent by the, the sender. So this is something like, uh, generally this is similar to some kind of hashing codes. Generally in some security terminologies, we use some hashing kind of codes. Now this, this is a method where we can say that, let's say if I'm sending the information as A, B, C, D. So this is my actual data, let's say. And when I'm sending it over my network, any network it can be, let's say in our case, it is like Ethernet network. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some algorithm, algorithm, and then I'm gonna generate some code. Let's say the code is XYZ. And your information will be sent over the network. And when it is reached on the other side, it is going to receive that uh, information along with the code. What is the code? Code is XYZ. So now the receiver is going to run the algorithm and is going to extract the code. And if it gets the code the same XYZ, which means the data is, if this code, which is generated after, after calculation and the code which is inside the packet, if it is same, which means the data is not modified or not corrupted or not dropped, something like that. And if there is any difference, let's say the code actually it carries is XYZ and the code received is let's say XXX something, which means the data is actually corrupted or uh, means the data is corrupted. So basically it is not going to accept that data. So this is something you generally see in the security terminology. We call it as a hashing or integrity algorithms. That is another name we call it as. Uh, it's similar, the same thing here, we call it as a CRC check or cyclic redundancy check or a frame check sequence uh, method in general. Apart from that, you also have another bit called preamble. Preamble bit, generally it's a kind of seven uh, or eight bytes. So basically seven bytes or eight bytes. And this is used for synchronization. Synchronization between the source and the receiver. Now let's say the source is sending the information in the pattern, in the form of zeros and the ones. Okay, so it is, uh, this is for bit synchronization, we call it as bit synchronization, used to establish the bit synchronization. And basically what it will do is, it is going to indicate the receiver saying that the frames are coming. So the frames are coming from the sender to the receiver. And it is going to tell the receiver to log the data stream, means it will just synchronize what is a data stream, just like uh, synchronization refers to, let's say, if I'm saying, I'm going to deliver a class for one hour per day, basically you should be in a position to receive the same. So if I say the class will run for three hours, basically, let's say if you're not in a position to listen for three hours, that's not going to sync. So it's like I'm delivering the class and you are, you are listening. So we need to make sure that we both sync we both uh, come to a common agreement that, okay, we'll go with one and a half hour session, which will be sync for both, where I can manage and you can also manage. Similar way, when the sender is receiving a sender and sending the packets, they have to sync how many bits of information has to be sent at once. Uh, basically, this is going to be indicated based on this preamble bit. And this actually, you know, Ethernet starts with this, with this kind of bit. Okay, but generally may, we call it as main. Now this preamble bit is not used in today's networks much because of the high speed ethernet, uh, ethernet. Ethernet supports very high speed data transfer rates nowadays like 100 Mbps or you know more than that. Uh, basically this uh, preamble bit is, is not really used or not really uh, required in today's uh, networks. So ethernet do not need to be preamble bit to protect actually or synchronize the frame bits in today's networks. So when the, when, the, when the packet travels generally over the Ethernet network, you need to know. But most of the time, we generally say, you know, the MAC address is something we only prefer most of the time. Apart from that, it includes the data field, which carries the actual payload, the type bit, which, which tells what protocol we are using, and of course, the frame check sequence, 
information which is going to carry or define whether the in, whether the packets received or the same what is sent by the user or the sender or not 